Hello, my name is Carmel. This is my wonderful husband, Robert, and we have been asked to reflect on day 22, which is St. Joseph's Mirror of Patience. Yeah, and um, I've, by the way, been loving all the previous day's videos. Uh, thank you to all those who've contributed so far. It's, it's wonderful and very edifying hearing what everyone has to say, and I hope we do this justice. But uh, look, reading into scripture, we obviously know that St. Joseph doesn't say anything. Uh, there's no quotes from Saint Joseph, um, and uh, and if that's not a mirror of patience in itself, I don't know what is. Because I'll tell you what, I can barely keep my mouth shut. <laughs> but um, but there was one p piece of scripture. I think it's uh, the Gospel of Luke. Early on in the Gospel of Luke, you see Saint Joseph, Mother Mary, and uh, they're both presenting our Lord to the temple. And who's there? Well, it's it's Simeon, and he's regarded as an elderly, holy, and devout man. And for a long time, he's been waiting for the coming of the Messiah. And his words, um, also known as the prophecy of Simeon or the or the Nunc Dimittis, which is prayed very often in the night prayer of the church, uh, is I think always in the night prayer of the church. He, uh, he, he says. At last, O oh powerful master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all nations, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and give glory to Israel, your people. I can take the earpiece out now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but uh, just look, reading those words, uh, for some reason, when I read them in this context of contemplating St. Joseph, I couldn't help but see a link there. St. Joseph was there. He heard those words. And I just couldn't help but think maybe they were the same words he would often reflect upon and possibly even pray himself uh, when he was in the presence of Jesus and as Jesus' mission became more and more apparent to him uh, throughout his life. We know that he um, likely didn't make it to, to Jesus' public ministry with the age of 30, 30 for Jesus, uh, as he's not really mentioned, um, apart from in the early years of Jesus' life. So... I would even think, you know, thinking about it, maybe that were the words he used when he was very ill or very frail and, and passing. You know, at last, the powerful master, you give leave to your servant. You know, he's been a servant to our Lord, and whenever God communicated a message to him, he followed it patiently, very patiently, not understanding the whole picture, um, and having that immense trust in God to not understand the whole thing, but just know that God, you know best, uh, I don't know the whole picture. Your ways are much greater than my ways. I'm just going to trust and be patient and know that if you've said it, it's going to happen. Uh, and just seeing that play out and those beautiful words of my eyes have seen your salvation. And he had the immense privilege and honor to see salvation every single day throughout his daily life. You know, Jesus himself, uh, he helped raise him, gave him some char character traits even perhaps taught him trades, all these things, um, you know, that, that immense patience of not knowing the full picture, but being able to pray that prayer of patience and trust in God uh, is amazing. And that's sort of what he meant the most when I contemplated St. Joseph as a mirror of patience. Mm -hmm. um, when I was reflecting on it, um, something that really came to mind is trust. You cannot be patient without, um, you cannot have that internal peace um, when waiting without trusting of what is to come without trusting that God will provide. Um, and my life at the moment is baby Mariam. And um, yeah, I was reflecting on an experience that I had with her the other day, which I feel really correlates with the trust that St. Joseph would have had in God. Um, so Mariam woke up wanting to be fed and um, I had to go to the bathroom before I fed her. So I picked her up and I put her in a little bouncy seat um, in the nursery and I went to the bathroom, which is across the hall from the nursery. Um, and she was quite upset and unsettled because she was hungry. Um, but from the bathroom, I kept calling out to her saying, I'm coming, darling, like be patient, I'm coming. And she actually became quite settled listening to my voice. And yet yeah, something that came to mind was the fact that she had that childlike trust, knowing that I was coming, um, knowing that I will provide for her um, eventually. And that gave her that internal peace in order to wait um, patiently. So St. Joseph would have had the exact same thing, listening to God's voice 
and trusting that he'll provide, even though in that moment it may have been difficult, it may have been hard. Um, he, yeah, he would have had that internal peace, that trust um, in God's providence. So, yeah, yeah. that's a little bit on St. Joseph's mirror patient. Thanks for listening.